Hi and thanks for joining me Grant Ronald from the Oracle mobile platform team. Now in this video I want to give you an insight into Max Mobile Application Accelerator development experience by rolling up my sleeves and getting into an end-to-end -end Max demo. Now in this demo I'll start by logging into Oracle MCS as a user of the Mobile Application Accelerator and for the sake of the demo my use case is that I want to develop a small mobile application that allows some technicians in the field to view the list of jobs they have, their priorities and also get some insight into metrics of how they're performing via dashboard. So without any further ado, let's get started with the demo. So we log into Oracle MCS and create a new Max application. And we give the application a name. In this case, we'll call it Fix It Fast App. And then we get to choose a template for the screen of the page. So let's choose this template and then give the page a name and text labels for each of the tabs. And then we can design some content on the page. We're going to use a dashboard for this first page. Now we've got a tile on the screen and let's give that a, a label and we'll call this priority metrics. And let's stretch that tile and split it into three. Okay, and we'll add a second tile below there. And again, there's different ways we can lay this out. This is going to show some history. And we're going to fill the, the rest of the screen with this last tile. Okay, let's put some components into these tiles. Let's use the metric component, which is useful for displaying a measure or some sort of number with a label. And let's use three of those. And for each of those, we're going to set some properties. So let's change the label. And here we're going to show the number of high priority calls and what we'll color that red. The second one will show the number of medium priority calls. Let's give that a label. And then the number of low priority calls that we've got waiting. And we'll give that a color of green. Okay, and now we're going to bind some data. So we go into our service catalog in MCS, and here we have Fix It Fast. So these are services that can support this application. And let's find some objects. There's an object for, called Incident Statistics, which returns an incident count. And we're going to map this field to the high value that comes back. And because we want to see only the calls for the current user, that's how we're filtering that. And let's do the same binding data for our next two components, the medium. Let's bind data to it based on incident statistics. And again, this service returns a count for high, low or normal. So this one we're going to display the count for the normal and again this is we only want to see it for the currently logged in user. And the last component here will bind to data for low priority calls. And again, this is just for the currently logged in technician. Okay, so we finish. And there you can see it's actually refre reflecting live data at the moment. So let's look at our component palette, a list of components. And let's find some sort of chart. Let's find a line chart here for showing uh, our history of calls or, or incidents. And again, we're going to bind that to some data. And this is going to be bound to a, a, an object in MCS called technician performance which returns three attributes, incident count, month, and technician, which we bind to the X, Y, and series of that graph. So month will be along the X axis, the number of incidents is the Y axis, and for each technician we'll show that. And because we're showing for all technicians, 
when we go into this next screen, we don't need to select it for the currently logged in user. Okay, so let's go into our second tab and let's put a different component on here and let's use a list component. So we'll drag a list component on and we'll bind that to some data. And as the incident object and the incident object returns a number of pieces of data which we can bind to the appropriate elements in the list. So for example, here's the low priority value. Let's put an icon for that. And for normal priority, let's have an icon for that. And for high priority, we've got an icon for that there as well. And we just simply drag and drop the data that the service provides onto the attributes of the visual component. So there's a title which will display the problem. Let's look at the customer and let's drag on their first name and their last name into the subtitle. And Maxwell concatenate these two separated by a space. And for the last two fields of the component, value one and value two, we'll show um, status and the last time it was updated. And again, we only want to see the data for the current technician, so we'll base that on username. And there we can see the data reflected in that list component. Okay, you can see how easy that was to create a simple mobile page with a dashboard, with a list, and to hook it up to some services to find an MCS. But let's look at extending the mobile app such that the user can select one of the incidents from the list and see the details of that selected incident. Okay, now we're going to add a detail screen to this page. So we select detail screen and then we can choose a template. And again, let's put in details for the title and let's name the tab summary and customer. And just as before, we can pick a style of content. Let's use a form layout for this page. And let's go to that detail screen. And as we did before, we'll simply add data to that component. So we select add data. We select the service with an MCS that has the data we want. So the incident business object. And here's all the data that object returns. And we just drag and drop that to make up our form. So we'll display the problem, we'll display information about priority, the status of the call, and also description. And we can actually see a live preview of this as well. And having viewed the live preview, you might decide to rearrange some of the components on the page. I'll notice that it will automatically base the query parameter on the ID from the parent screen. And let's do the same for the customer tab. Again, let's use a form for this. We'll drag and drop from our component palette onto the page. And again, we'll add data. We'll select the customer business object from MCS. And again, let's add data that that service returns as fields on that form. So let's use the first name, the customer's last name. Let's take their mobile number. And we might also need their address as well. So let's take their street, their city, And there's zip code.
Okay, and that's us created a detailed screen. Now this time we need the query parameter and we can choose here that it's based on the customer ID on the parent screen. So that makes sure we see the right customer on this detail screen. And there we go, there's our detail screen. So having created the application, the next step is to test it. Now with Macs, you can actually test the application right inside the browser without the need to have a mobile device for testing. Alternatively, you can deploy the application from the cloud onto your mobile device. And the way you do this is you first of all have to download a native Max container application, which you download from the app stores. You can think of this simply as a container that manages all of your Max applications. Now, when you want to deploy the Max application that you created down onto this mobile device, Max will generate a QR code for you. You simply scan that QR code from your phone and the application you created automatically gets downloaded into the Max container application on your device. You can then run and test your Max application from your phone just like any other native mobile application. So let's have a quick look at this in the demo. So let's test now. We can select the tester within Oracle Max. And there we can see our dashboard. Let's select the lists and we see the list of incidents. And let's select an incident. Let's take the first one. And there we see the details for that incident. And let's look at the customer. And if we want to test that on the phone, press this button and Max will generate a QR code which we can scan and this will then be automatically downloaded onto our phone as an on-device mobile app. So there you have it, a native mobile application created in the cloud through Oracle MCS and deployed onto your phone. And just think of the possibilities you can unleash with such simple mobile development. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.